Hey guys, bit of steam in the breath today. <laughs> All right, this is just a another review video. Um, some Banggood things that I received to check on. Uh, an indicator, which is at the moment I've I've got it set up on here. You'll see a close up. That checked out fine for me. The uh, movement, travel, totally free, very nice. And I use these uh, types of indicator mostly for, shall we say, parallelism reference uh, as against uh, using the scale for, for actual uh, uh, absolute measurements. And the other things are some taps, metric taps three through eight, set of five in spiral point and uh, spiral flute. And they check out very good, quite adequate. My use of metric taps is fairly infrequent, but I do prefer to use spiral, uh, if possible, as against a standard. And these make life a little bit easier. Uh, I didn't uh, power tap. I don't like doing it on this machine. And, and I was using a very gnarly bit of um, steel bar. Uh, for large scale use, I don't know how well they'd stand up, but the thing is, the price of these things really makes them worth getting anyway. The indicator is only 17, and uh, as a first off of that type or an extra, really very, very good. Very pleased with that. And the, the taps, each set were $7, <laughs> and you can't really go wrong on that. Uh, as I say, if you're going to have to use them for dozens or hundreds of uses, maybe a, a higher quality one might be worth doing, but I don't think it's worth it for relatively occasional use. And at that price, <laughs> what's to complain about? All right, anyway, the clips are spread over time. In other words, continuity might be all over the damn place. I'm not sure yet. So apologies for that. It's a, an attempt to try and put together a review uh, in small increments. But uh, the bottom line at the end is worth getting good value. Now when I get out here again, I've no idea. Because I think we've got some brutal cold coming again and that always uh, stops me getting out here for anything decent. So I'll be back in harness sometime, uh, maybe before New Year. In fact, I might do a review of 2017 if I get around to it, <laughs> just something different. Otherwise, um, I will have hoped you've, you have or have had a good Christmas and uh, all the best for, the ha for a happy New Year. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now. We're just going to take a look at this uh, Banggood indicator. I'll uh, put up a screen grab of the website for it. I think if I remember it's uh, about 17 bucks. Seems good value but we're going to just try it out and uh, what I'm doing is, and this is a fairly quick, fairly quick test really, and I don't know whether we're going to be able to show the... This is going to be very difficult to show this indicator. This is a Shars, which I've had for quite some time. Uh, this is the uh, Half Thou indicating, same as this Spangood one. And uh, all I'm doing is just testing on this 1, 2, 3 block And see if I can get a better view of the uh, dial. Now, as I say, this is a known quantity, this one. It served me very well 
for the uh, mill application but uh, I'm thinking of adding one for lathe use let's just run this along oh that's me touching the uh, fine tuning anyway I think, oops, I think you'll see this one is uh, holding zero very well I'll swap over to the uh, Banggood one, we'll see how that performs so this is the Banggood one and I've set it at about mid-range it's probably on about mid-range, close to zero I'm just going to go along the edge and that's showing good parallelism and that basically is good enough for me yeah there is the usual got the other uh, attachment option I've turned the 123 block on its uh, flat Incidentally, the, there's a dowel in the middle which is numbered because I try and keep these in pairs. These are imports. I'm just running this along. So I don't know whether that's visible on the scale. And again, something approximating half scale. But again, that's a good uh, block, and uh, the indicator's doing just fine. I'm just trying this on gauge blocks just to uh, check. But this base, which is not really intended for this use, I've modified it. Not very easy. Right, that's zeroed. One, two thou. Tooth hour. Only looking for very small differences here. And I'm not sure there's not a little bit of grease on these gauge blocks. There are tooth hour again. Tooth hour difference, so it's registering anyway, that's the main thing I wanted to check. Well, this uh, set of spiral taps from Banggood. Metric, uh, three, four, five, six, and eight. They look pretty nice, and uh, I'm going to just try two M4 and M6. So I've got a piece of uh, eighth mild in there. It's a piece of scrap. So I'm going to give these a try drill some tapping holes and then just uh, see how they perform alright, don't laugh <laughs> I've prepped two holes and chamfered them and I checked my uh, drill sizes and I've drilled clearance holes so I might see if I can use those for some of the other sizes crazy man well, I'm rushing on with this a bit because I'm short of time. That hole, the one nearest, is the one I've abandoned. <laughs> it was a clearance hole. So I've enlarged this one to go through with an 8. M8. I started it in the chuck. And I really need the Jacobs in to do a power tap. So um, I've just done a hand tap to finish. It looks quite a nice thread there. And then we'll try the uh, this one here I've drilled for an M4, which is the right size for tapping and not clearance. <laughs> right, same here with this. Uh, M4. I'm giving it a start in the chuck. I really don't power tap all that often, I must admit. 
So um, you're going to get a lot of hand in the way here. I did add some lube. I always worry about small taps. So that's through all right. And seeing as that's a smaller tap, which is where you tend to expect breakages if they're not strong enough. So there we are, that's two sizes, which I think is adequate just to check. Just to test with some bolts. This, uh, <laughs> just to remind you, that was drill clearance by mistake. <clears throat> we enlarged this one out to take an, um, an M8 and that's, that's a nice fit, nice thread. And then the M4 also good. Quite pleased with that. <clears throat> Quite a useful set. I don't uh, use a lot of metric but on occasions when I do I prefer to have the choice of a spiral point or spiral flute. Well, fortunately, we can add this on now. The uh, spiral flutes uh, turned up in the mail. Um, like the spiral points, three, four, five, six, and eight. And uh, I'm going to try the uh, four and the six, I think it'll do for a test. I'll get a couple of holes drilled. This time, we'll try and get the <laughs> tapping size instead of clearance. So we'll try those, I'll get set up and then we'll see how they do. Let's, let's try the uh, 6 mil first. I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm just going to do a chuck start and then uh, finish by hand. Okay, we're through. Now the observation on this one, that was a 5mm tapping hole, which is the uh, for 100%. And to be honest, I think I'd have been better with a number 8 number drill to give a couple of thou, because this was fairly hard work. I think it's cutting all right. It's lost some of the coating in the process of uh, doing the hole. Otherwise it's okay, but I certainly would probably reckon to have an easier time by uh, tapping to sort of let's say a 90% thread. I've done a chuck start again. And this is another one actually where perhaps a slightly larger, sorry, hand in the way all the time here, a slightly larger tapping drill would have made it a bit easier. This steel is not very nice actually. I mean it's basically just a piece of cold rolled bar but uh, There's quite a bit of torque going on that. 
you can see the uh, see the chips coming up, which actually shows better than when I did the six. But I did have to back off a little bit now and again just to just to free it up. But uh, there's a fair amount of torque applied to that. The same as on the six. And uh, <laughs> my thinking is if the buggers didn't break, we're probably doing all right. All right, there we are. Just check for fit. This is the uh, this is the uh, four mil, four by point seven. That feels pretty good. Now I'll try the uh, six. That's okay. There's still a bit of oil and mess inside that thread, but yeah, that's good. So I'm happy with those two. I haven't got time to do all five, but that gives me a fair idea. So these and the spiral points have turned out really pretty reasonable.